let's see the uh the other political side um of it this is um jimmy Dore, apparently in theory um i don't know if somebody maybe somebody's filling in on um but uh here we go this is not an insurrection so ladies and gentlemen they released mike johnson the speaker of the house is only a couple of months after tucker carlson maybe a year after yeah a couple months a year doesn't really matter tucker carlson revealed that january 6th was an inside job yeah yeah these these are actually all maggots here these are the police officers there they're all just uh, they they were all in league with trump you do remember who was president at the time by the right? establishment oh i see they, beg your pardon I, uh for the record i am the establishment and i i gotta say i i didn't realize i was this powerful but i've managed i i, I mean i got it if they were really the establishment and they've been the establishment wouldn't they have been successful? And if the establishment wanted to get rid of Trump and to put in Joe Biden, they had already succeeded. Why, why did they need a, any of this bump and ruffle bullshit? Also, it's, it's nice to know that Jimmy thinks the establishment doesn't ha isn't all W's all the time. And a setup. We all kind of suspected. And here he is. We I just suspected. Is now he's releasing the video. To is he all one minute and sixteen seconds of it without timestamps, Jimmy? Ten thousand hours. You got a minute and sixteen seconds, and you're not even saying what time of day it was. Ah, who needs it? To show you that. that yeah, just show us that, that part. The, I guess they got the Capitol cops. I you guess sure. Directly from Uvalde. <laughs> because here's what ha here's what actually happened on the here's what actually happened inside here. of the capitol inside the capitol at one door we don't know where this door is at no one knows what time of the day it was you want to see yeah it's 42,000 it's supposedly 42,000 hours in total he only released a third of it though that's the that's the part where where Jimmy's like a third of it's out we can draw a conclusion from that that's fine see what happened Here's what happened. The cops, you can take this, take the audio down. Yeah, take the audio down. You don't need to hear this. The cops are leading them into the... Into the where? Jimmy, where are they leading them into? Where are they, wh where are they leading them into, Jimmy? Where are they trying to lead them into? That's what they're doing. Yeah, they're leading them into the, that's what they're doing. My God. Look at that. It's like 9-11 and 10-7 had a deadly Hamas baby. <laughs> okay, he's reading uh, one of uh, Kurt's jokes off a piece of paper. Um, again, uh, time and date on this? Uh, or sorry, time and date on this? What do you think? Uh, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock? <laughs> These are all the kind of people that love cops, by the way. Hey, look, did you see that? I'm going to show you this. So watch this guy. He says hi to this guy. Oh, no, not that guy. There's another yeah, so what are the cops supposed to yell? Fuck you and start a fight with everybody as they walk by? Look how many of these people there are, and look how many cops there are. Are you out of your fucking mind? Genuinely, this is just, again, this is all based on this, like, everybody has to suddenly be completely naive and... And, and just disregard all reality. And again, yes, it's de-escalation is exactly it. This is what people like Jimmy supposedly clamor for, right? You got to de-escalate. You got to make sure this crowd doesn't get worse so pe more people don't die, right? Also, which hallway is this? What time of day is it? You think he even fucking cares? Where's this clip from? Not even bothering. Yeah, here's Hold why on. you're an idiot if you don't think it, John, uh, January 6th was set up, because these are the kind of people, remember, all the lib, shit libs were saying defund the police and we all cops are yep. bastards. These are the people that love cops. These people love cops. Then why did they beat them to get past the bike racks and then the doors? There so wasn't anybody going to fight any cops until... The feds in there riled it up because... That's right. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it, again, these feds just whisper into these maggots ears and then all of a sudden... The these people the, are natural allies with cops. The, 
No, they aren't. Have you heard them talk about the FBI? They have you ever heard them talk about? Remember, uh, fucking um, who was it? Uh, G. Gordon Liddy's uh, Jack Booted Thugs. Remember that shit from the early nineties? Motherfucker, half the QAnons think think the cops that were around D.C. are U.N. shock troops. The Fed started breaking the windows. The Fed started encouraging by the Fed. Yeah, the, the Feds broke the window. Which Feds would those be? The ones that are in jail now for breaking the windows that are on video? So we're just locking up. Okay, so I guess what's the problem then? We've I, Everybody who's in jail for uh, busting the windows or kicking down the doors were Feds anyways. Right? Good Lord. Did that. Not yeah, because maggots are so doe-headed that they wouldn't have done it otherwise. Not these people, these people love cops. Uh -huh. I, I love anybody that I would step over the blood and busted teeth of to get into a building. Once I'm in there, the fuck are you going to do? And, and you can tell. Watch this. You can tell that some of them think that those cops are on their side and work with Donald Trump and the other ones outside work for Joe Biden. So this is what really happened. The cops brought them in. And uh, did this cop? They, they brought him in. What? Where's the uh, timestamp on this, Jimmy? So this guy, this is the guy I wanted to show you. By the way, this is uh, from later in the morning when I think near the back of the Capitol. So we've seen a bunch of this footage already where the cops decided that they had to start routing some of the bigger crowds out of this fucking place. So they shut down a bunch of interior doors with the with the big gates you can't get past. And then they routed people fucking through the outside circle of it. And there's a big there's labyrinthal uh, hallways in there that people would go like, bleh, bleh. and by the time they look up, they're outside. This guy said he hey. waved to the cop, the cop. Hey, how you doing? Right. What's he supposed to do? Flip him off and get the rest of his the cops around him killed or some shit. Watch that. That's my favorite moment. So this guy gives he gives him a thank you for your How service, you officer. How you doing? Hey, cops. You doing a those, great job. Those look like real insurrectionists. They're there to overthrow the government, Kurt. Those wow. people are there to overthrow the government. I'd say it's peaceful and fiery, but there's not even a fire. They're there to overthrow the government. Those people. But what about the? Yeah, they are. Look at the volume of them next to those police officers. And again, these idiots are being herded. Other videos where the agent provocateurs got, got a fight. Yes, tell us about the agent provocateurs. Going. You They're, know, after I I'm convinced. I don't know. A minute, 16 seconds. What more do you need? Minute, 16 seconds from God knows when during the day. Yeah, I'm, I mean, all right, I take it back. Uh, Trump's still president, and QAnon was right. But that's it. We're, we're going full storm now. We're going, like, uh, the storm's coming. October 7th, none of this matters. That's, that's the thing that we really should take away from this. I only care about October 7th. I don't care about this. I don't care about Ukraine. I used to care about these. October 7th is what I care about now, because that's... What I've been told to care about. That's exactly right. And I do. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know that he, I can't tell because I don't give a fuck about either of these guys, which one's being serious. It seems like Kurt was going in the direction that he actually does. And Jimmy was like, nah. And so I, I can show you videotape after videotape after. Please do. Find me one, all I ask, one with an actual timestamp on it. So we at least know what fucking time of day we're looking at videotape of the of this like this but this is i'll just show you this one because it yeah because it's one of the earliest ones released by mike johnson you didn't have to look very hard it's later in the day mm -hmm. long shadows on the floor being what they are sun is not directly overhead it tells you everything you need to know it's 40 <laughs> does it thousand hours roughly of this of this and that's why. And it's not 40,000 hours. It's seven hours, uh, effectively 30,000, you know, 20,000 times. They wouldn't show this to you. There's never a reason. We saw shit tons of this stuff.
I don't know what the fuck they're talking about, by the way. During the Jan 6 thing, we saw these dumb motherfuckers being herded through the dome. We saw these dumb motherfuckers being herded through the doorways and out the other side. No one is shocked by this shit. This is actually how they diverted the large portion of the crowd. Reason not to show you the tape. There's never a reason not There's to show. There's absolutely no reason not to watch the video right. if you can watch it, and not just a piece of it, but the whole. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. What? What'd you? What'd you say there, Kurt? What There's absolutely no part? reason not to watch the video right. if you can watch. Right. If you can watch, watch it. it, and not just a piece of it, but the whole goddamn thing. Ah, I see. So not just a piece of it, the whole goddamn to thing. Is that? Watch that was the it? video right. if you can watch it. Uh huh. And not just a piece of it, but the whole goddamn thing. So all 40,000 hours, we know about the violence on that day. We've seen it. Most of us have seen it too many times. And so what, what Kurt wants you to do, and what I guess he wants Jimmy to do as well, is to, uh, is to don't just focus on minute moments on a loop, for example, but watch all 40,000 hours and get the whole picture. There's no reason to not release that, especially for something like this. Mm -hmm. That's this important. That's not important. It's yet another hallway where they were diverting the large portions of the crowd to try and de-escalate. Dum dum. 9-11 times however many important, not as important as October 7th, but dumb. By the way, this is the, uh, like, the gaslight of exaggeration. This is the, the idea that, like, you said this was the end of the world, right? You said that, the, like, nobody said it was the end of the world. Somebody said it was very dangerous, extraordinarily dangerous. Had it been successful, it would have blah, blah, blah. There would have been, you know, uh, chaos ensued and blah, blah, blah. But not Armageddon. But you throw out this whole, like, uh, uh, <laughs> what's Jimmy wearing? Jimmy's wearing one of his button downs with the French cuffs uh, because he's fancy. Um... But yeah, these these motherfuckers want you to think that, you know, this is uh, that you said this was Armageddon and anything less than Armageddon means you were lying when nobody said it was Armageddon. We just said it was a legit attempt at attack on our democracy. Definitely more than 9-11. Kurt, would you look at these fucking animals crawling in like ants screaming and look at him? Look at him reading Kurt's joke. More than 9-11. Kurt Watch here. Here it comes. This is going to be good, too. This is like, I mean, if I was Greg Gutfeld, I'd be taking notes. No, I wouldn't. I, that's not true. If I was Greg Gutfeld and I was watching this, I'd go, wow, I, I, it's possible to even be less funny than me. Shit. That's, that's, a, that's a optimism. Would you look at these fucking animals crawling in like ants, screaming and tearing everything apart? I'd call, they're like vermin. God, <laughs> God help us from... Jesus Christ. Look, you shouldn't... If there's a punchline, read the fucking punchline. If you just need a script for your own sarcastic bullshit statements, I, 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 I honestly... Does it get weaker than this? Please, God, protect us from quiet people walking double file down the corridor. <laughs> It, well, look, it looks like they're ready to go and take a shit in somebody's office. I'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> you know, maybe you think some middle-aged people marching slowly isn't a threat, but that's all Ukraine's got right now. <laughs> Yikes. Fuck you, dude. This, look, this is a yeah. bunch, of, bunch of Second Amendment gun nuts showed up, guns? showed up to overthrow the government, and they didn't bring their guns. No, a bunch of them did actually have guns, and the uh, Proud Boy guys had guns in a truck nearby because they thought Trump was going to engage in the Insurrection Act, and so, therefore. And also, Trump turned off the magnetometer so people, they didn't have to go through the metal detectors, so nobody knew who had guns and who didn't. Lots of people walked out of there. A lot of people got busted with guns, and other people walked out of there and were like, phew, nobody uh, patted me down. No, they have guns. Wait, where are they? Where are where they? That? What's that guy? I, I don't know. Uh, can you see a gun under a big winter coat? I hold in his hand. Was that a gun? No, nope. couldn't see. Not a gun. Again, look at the backpack on that fucker. You ever gone into a into a public space? Go to Disneyland, or go into the you know the fucking Smithsonian or something, carrying a big puffy zipped up backpack like that. They're going to want to run it through a, a metal detector or fucking look inside of it.
because about every 6,500th person has something fucked up in there. A knife, a gun, drugs in some major way, or literally means, you know, that they brought, by the way, just because they're a dumbass, but also people who mean ill. And let's remember what the Capitol Police Chief, this is what the Capitol Police Chief had to say. Isn't it funny you never saw this guy interviewed anywhere? Nobody, no reporters went to interview this guy. Isn't that interesting? Well, I choose to believe the woman of color. And, and by the way, uh, you're, you're, you're right that Jimmy has the exact same talking point as uh, Carl Higby Sellers over there on Newsmax. And, uh, I don't know, Lindell TV and RSBN and oh, and they're all and it's like a script who got bribed by Pelosi after. That's right. Oh, that's exactly right. So here's what he actually said when he was interviewed. You've described this as an intelligence failure, but a failure is something that happens accidentally. None of the intelligence. Dun, dun, dum. Dude's fucking playing ads for Tucker's show now. It's coming up talking about the why? Why play the actual long form footage of the. Uh, the attempted insurrection when you can play a minute 16 of the most benign footage you can find on a fucking loop and why show the entirety of this guy's interview when you can show the ad for it that tucker put out to try and make his testimony or his interview sound worse than you know than i alleged it, it it was yeah storming of the capitol killing members of congress or killing my police officers was ever discussed at the conference calls that i was on at least that doesn't seem to make sense at all it doesn't make Wait a minute, what? Hold on. I'm looking at my men and women having their asses handed to them. And, and my first thought was, fuck it, I will take whatever yes. this one there is. One single okay, by the way, where did you see that, Jimmy? Why is that, why didn't you, why didn't you pause right there? Did you hear what he said? There, his, his men and women having their ass handed to them. And I thought these, weren't those cops on the inside? Both of you were just saying that they were, they were in on it, that they're, you know, this bunch of people were cop huggers. Got out of control for 71 minutes. Pelosi refused to allow you to bring in the National Guard. Why don't we have answers? It, it doesn't seem like. It's weird that you cut that part. Why don't we have you, you cut between two questions of Tucker? Did you notice that? Did you know, anybody else notice that? Hold on one second. Let's, let's look at let's look at Tucker's edit. Pelosi refused to allow you to bring in the National Guard. Why don't we have answers? <laughs> Why don't we have answers? Um, hmm. It's almost like that guy had something to say in between those two things that they cut out. It, it doesn't seem like people really want to get to the bottom of it. And it, it seems like, yeah, it seems like how people... much does it take to leave the sea org of Scientology? I wonder. It takes a lot, you know. You still, and a lot of people even still believe in L. Ron Hubbard. And that's every stupid, that's everybody that works for the government of D.C., they are the most indoctrinated of all. It's not all the stupid unwashed masses are, they're actually less indoctrinated than the people that work in these jobs because they just can't get their head around the whole thing's worthless. Yeah, what, the, the, you, so uh, if I'm, I'm hearing you right, everybody who works in the federal government or works in D.C., can't get, the round, uh, get their head around the idea that what they do for a living, trying to keep the U.S. federal government afloat and functioning, is worthless. Run, uh, run that by me again. People that work in these jobs. People that work in these jobs, right. Yes, secretaries, people who work at the Department of Transportation, people, police officers around there. They, they keep getting up every morning and going into fucking town and doing their fucking job. Because they just can't get their head around the whole thing's worthless. They're like, no, I mean, it seems weird that I have bad intel. Probably couldn't be yeah. on purpose. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why these people who actually work for a living doing this shit don't just buy into my bullshit, half thought out conspiracy theory that I, that I cribbed from Telegram and QAnon. It couldn't obviously be what it is. <laughs> yes. Uh, I couldn't obviously. So. Again, the problem is that Jimmy was showing that clip. There's a disconnect between Jimmy and Kurt these days where Jimmy will show this clip as examples of how the, this guy backs up Jimmy's point and Kurt's basically saying this guy is an idiot and can't see what's right in front of him. I believe in this. <laughs> it's worse from there. I had a conference call with the leaders of all the law enforcement. It was a call I coordinated. Not one person on that call talked about any concerns for the, the intelligence, the attack on the Capitol that we were seeing that was out there. That's what's, that's what's scary. This sounds like a setup 
to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all. Okay. If it sounds like a setup to Tucker, I mean, again, I don't know how many times I can be convinced in the same day. It does. New Jersey State Police beat D.C. National Guard to the Capitol. Wait. So cops from New Jersey mm -hmm. got to the Capitol. Yeah, but that's because there were some cops from New Jersey who were actually in the crowd. Faster than the National Guard did from inside Washington, D.C. Wow, it is like. Yeah, but also uh, city police it can react to an emergency in in a way that National Guard troops cannot without authorization. October 7th. <laughs> and that has to come from the president. It is. Cops drove from New Jersey before the National Guard could get from the armory on Capitol Hill to the Capitol. Why isn't this story everywhere? I have no idea. I th it's, it, it's funny how uh, Jimmy just un uh, is so comfortable taking a promo and and thinking that he's, I mean, uh, what am I? I don't even know why I'm confused. This motherfucker was just showing you footage from the Capitol. He has no idea when it took place over the course of seven hours. No idea. Just played it and went, that's evidence that no one was attacked, that it was an inside job, that it was all bullshit, that these people wouldn't have done anything violent if they, you know, if it hadn't been for the FBI goading them on. And, and his evidence for that was one fucking loop, a minute and 16 seconds long without any timestamp on it from fucking God knows when and God knows where in the actual Capitol. When we've seen, when fucking Ashley Babbitt's dying and fucking Roseanne Boylan uh, dies and is being re, you know resuscitated by police officers that the maggots themselves are attacking. So at the same fucking time and the tunnels underneath the fucking place. The, so why would I be surprised that Jimmy would look at a promo of an interview from Tucker Carlson's ex show which is built to make people go, oh, dear God, Pearl Clutch, got to watch this. By editing shit out of context and taking that guy's answers and the questions by Tucker Carlson and truncating them together to make it look like a gotcha. What? Where the fuck? Why wouldn't you just play a section of the actual interview that proves your fucking point? What are you going to do? Run out of fucking time between selling gold or some shit? I think you do have an idea. You have no idea. Of course you have an idea. You, the, the, the idea is the establishment wanted to criminalize a political or movement called, <laughs> called MAGA. Oh, I see. So the establishment wanted to do this. Why? Why didn't they do this with the fucking Tea Party then? It's the same fuckers. And again, Biden had already won. That supported Donald Trump. So they poured something in their Kool-Aid and made them walk to the That's Capitol? what this is about. I see. All right. So they're criminalizing MAGA, which is why they're rounding people up and putting them in FEMA camps right now. And they did it. And the media is complicit. And Jimmy feels, I guess, in danger because he's he's covert MAGA. Is that what it is? He's shadow MAGA. And it's just amazing how people are. They just believe. I like. That's why you. They just believe what, Jimmy? That a minute and 16 seconds of timestamp video is indicative of a seven-hour attack on the U.S. Capitol, and that's all you need to watch to know to feel like you know everything that happened on that day or that the narrative was the opposite of what literally everyone watched on, on Facebook and the news, and Donald Trump himself was cheerleading? So when you, go, when, you go, when, you ask, when you talk to people who believe the media... And what I do is I say to them, I'm sorry, uh, I say to them, is Tucker Carlson not media? Also, is uh, video with no timestamp media? Is there anything that you see on CNN, Fox or MSNBC that you don't believe? Again, this goes to the uh, the, uh, the extrem extremism gaslighting, like. All right, so you believe everything they say? It's like, it's like a, it's like a kid in the neighborhood going, "Oh, so you do? I got to be home because it's time for dinner." Oh, you do everything your parents tell you to do? Like, no, no, no. I, I masturbate quite a lot, but I didn't feel like that was important to the conversation. I'm actually hungry, fuckhead. Is there anything you read in the New York Times or the Washington Post that you don't believe? What is it? What are the things you don't believe? By the way, uh, Jimmy has been siding with the New York Times in the uh, Gaza coverage lately, just for the record.
They never have an answer. They That's because it's a stupid question. It's an absurd premise. What are they supposed to do? Cite the articles that they read and they're like, nah, whatever. Change the subject. They go, <laughs> they change me. I trust science. They'll say shit, shit like that. Is that what they say? Is that what they, because you're talking about fucking anti-vaxxer shit and you're like, oh, you believe everything New York Times says about vaccines? You're like, no, I, I don't get my information about vaccines from the New York Times. What the fuck are you talking about? Is there anything you don't believe that the media tells you? Well, okay, can you, uh, as someone who clearly trusts science, can you please tell me wh exactly what science... Is there anything you've seen on uh, on Twitter, for, shitter, that you don't, from Tucker Carlson that you don't believe? Do you believe everything Tucker Carlson says? Here's a good idea. Argue your fucking points, stand by them, and if somebody counters the point, don't launch it off to, like, I think you got that from there. Because even if they did, fight it on the field in front of you. It's not that you heard it someplace and you believed it. It's that you believe it that matters. And if you're going to argue from one point of view or another, that point of view is yours. No matter where you collected it from, either a myriad of sources or a single source. And this is a this is like the inversion of the appeal to authority fallacy in debating. You know what I mean? Is that like when somebody just quotes the Bible and goes, well, the Bible says that and that's supposed to end the fucking argument that this is the inversion of this, which is like, oh, you probably read that in the Bible or something like, no, this is something I genuinely believe. Says the definition of science. Please go. Go ahead. The definition of science. Yeah, is uh, I don't I, I wonder what that it's is a system. For testing to see what you can know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's so a system of things. questioning. Yeah, it's a system. Huh. That's it's interesting you bring that up, Kurt. So what happens in a system where you test things that you can know for sure? Sometimes you will test things and they will appear to be true for a period of time. And you will, for uh no negative reasons. Believe that to be the primary belief system because the majority of your ability to test something, the available information, the the technology you have uh, available to you will tell you that to this point, the best we can know is that this is a fact, like vaccines work. And you can tell by that, you know, the big indicator is the fucking population. Because since we came up with antibiotics and vaccines, the fucking population is enormous. It used to stay really small because fucking tuberculosis and the Spanish flu and the flu in general would just wipe out huge fucking chunks of the population below a certain age and above a certain age. And that was fucking that. And the children that would make for future adults die and the old people that would have like that were the patriarchs and matriarchs of their family that kept the structure together, they die. And so everybody in the middle is fucking scattered. And I mean, look at the fucking dust bowl. That's the point. It's a system. It doesn't get everything right. It tries its best all the time and it makes mistakes and then it corrects them. It doesn't mean that there's a fucking cabal establishment Illuminati behind the scenes trying to tinker its way through it. By the way, both of these motherfuckers don't think climate change is real. And I, I, would, I would venture to say that Kurt thinks the earth is flat. That he's fairly convinced, like he'll, it, he'll say no at first and then he'll fall back into it. But there's a lot of convincing evidence to the contrary and blah, blah, blah. It's the yeah, questioning it's assumptions. It's a lot of questions and falsifying. That's and right. It's things that you don't just trust. And it's coming out now that a lot of the peer see, review stuff. So, you know, when they yeah. say like the theory of. It's coming out now that a lot of the peer reviewed stuff is, yeah, you know. By the way, this is where they will take um, the, the big fallback with the current crowd right now is uh, peer-reviewed um, journals about psychology, which is an amorphous zone of science to begin with because you're asking people how they feel and what changes in how they feel have happened over time. So it's you can't measure it by, you know, white blood cell count or some shit like that, that they want to compare those kind of peer-reviewed studies getting walked back over time or people fudging their, de their, their details around psychological studies with fucking 
vaccines with, uh, you know, measurable with physics for fuck's sake. Relativity. Mm -hmm. So I remember one time I had this discussion with my fa oh, father who, uh, and, and my sister didn't believe in it. She didn't believe in, in the, the, the not the theory, uh, the theory of evolution. Oh, oh, yeah, that's she, yeah, yeah. To which it, I mean, they're basically the same thing. Excellent, excellent. So your sister didn't believe in evolution. Okay, she didn't yeah. believe in the theory of evolution. She didn't think we came from apes, right, or whatever, and or whatever. I don't even remember. Does anybody remember what the theory of evolution is? It's been so long. I mean, my my thinking on the subject has evolved over time, but I uh, did we didn't somebody say we came from parakeets? No, it was a uh, chickens i'll remember later and i'm like are you i go it's science and my dad goes that's why it's a theory it's called a theory i go dad it's not a theory like you think a theory is like some guy just thought something oh dear a theory is a scientific this is gonna be good wait for it everybody a theory is a scientific what a presentation or a scientific theory that yeah a theory is a scientific theory i agree I agree. That's uh, probably true. Not all theories are scientific theories, though. I think we have a lot of colloquial theories about shit that don't effectively qualify as scientific theories. They might just be bullshit premises, but... Cannot be disproven. So mm -hmm. people have been trying to disprove the theory of evolution, and they can't. Right. Uh, yeah, but there are a lot of theories out there that the only way, I mean, evolution being one of them, there are a lot of theories out there that the only reason we can't disprove them is because we scientifically don't have, I mean, you know, baseline physics versus quantum physics. The the concepts, I and mean, we used to think, everybody used to think atoms were a specific solid thing. And now we know they're both a wave and a particle at the same time because of quantum physics and because of our ability to look beyond what we could see before. Right. Because as the technology grew, our kind of baseline fundamental understanding of physics, which was already extraordinary um, to start with, uh, deepened, I would say. That's why. It, but that's called a scientific theory. Well, that I see. So, OK. Un unlike a. Uh, um, Kurt's theory about how to pick up chicks. It what can't she think? be. Which, by the way, um you want to um, get their legs in between these two fingers and you want to lift them very gently and they'll just sit, whatever. If you try to pick up a chick like this, it just gets a little nervy because it feels its uh, wings compress. So you, what you want to do is you want to kind of like, if you move over, they won't necessarily run from it. And you can just kind of ladle them into your hand and lift them up, just saying, <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> it can't yeah. be disproven. It's not just some fucking willy-nilly with current technology. Really think some guy threw out there. Not either. I mean that would count as a theory if you can't, right? You can't no, disprove that. No, but you can't prove but you can prove it. That's unfalsifiable. Unfalsifiable and unproven is not or, or not uh, unable to disprove is not quite the same thing. Evolution, you can't disprove. You can't prove God. Well the the thing like <laughs> This is not where these assholes thought this was going to go. All they wanted to do was play a minute and 16 seconds of fucking footage of people walking through a hallway and call off the dogs. And now the two of them are in a metaphysical argument about the uh, the difference between uh, the provability of science and the falsification of, of mythological ideas. When I was a kid, we had... You don't, don't, don't mix up this segment. What? Don't mix this segment. It, it's already mixed, dude. No, with your god shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid... With... Your God shit. Well, there you go. It all doesn't come back to fucking Jehovah Witnesses, Kurt. No, no, no. Okay. Well, here's what I'm asking about. Some, there are some things that that doesn't apply to. No, okay. Um, this is about evolution. Okay. How a lot of religious people, their problem with it is not that some things evolve. They he he is he's digging in. They think evolution is how life got here. We had a book called "How Did Life Get Here by Evolution," and a lot of people think that which is not what evolution says. Evolution says how species got here. I wasn't told that as a kid. And a lot of like fundamentalist types are not told that. They think it's like, oh, I guess we just came out of goo. And But evolution doesn't say that. Evolution just talks about how species get here. Right. So most people don't. Jimmy is not following. He's, you lost him at goo. <laughs> 
Hey, Hal, is that your superposition? I all my positions are superpositions. I don't even know that much. If you don't believe me, drop your shorts and bend over, Mr. Babar. Like it's not even a you know like even the nuns in Catholic school. Even the nuns in Catholic school said to me that you know you can believe the theory of evolution or not, but you could also believe that if we, if we, uh, I said, well, we he remembers all of it, which is good. Yeah, is, this is. This is strikingly good television, by the way. We didn't all come from the Big Bang. And she said, yeah, but God invented the Big Bang. So we all came from... Yeah, that's what happened. God invented the Big Bang. That's, that's what they said. I'm sure that's how they explained it. It's, it's nice to know that Jimmy's had shit in his ears his whole fucking life. God. So even right. even the even the nuns were like God. So yeah, we the did. Big Bang sounds like the Bible, y right? Let like there be light. Boom. Boom. That's what it sounds like. In fact, I think a a, a priest or a some kind of. So even yeah, even yeah. even the nuns were down. I'm just. Uh, can I just enjoy it for the fact that this these they're now sort of arguing this point between the two of them, um and trying to find common ground about this. And it all started with a video of a bunch of maggots walking down a hallway. For a theory of evolution, right. because it came from God. Right. Anyway, here's Nancy Pelosi. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've seen the footage of her. Anyways, I like this. Anyways, here's Nancy Pelosi. Look, and by the way, the footage he's about to show, not only is it from The Guardian, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, media. Um, but it's also uh, been shown already. And there's a, there's a sign language lady there. So obviously, uh, we're getting um, story unbreakable stories that are getting broken finally. Whew. Shit, that was a rough one. I gotta say, that 